Hi guys, I just wanted to talk a little bit about one of my favorite moves, and it's the 360 into shoulder Hindu squat. Um, before you add the mace to your squat, make sure that you already have a solid Hindu squat. So with the Hindu squat, you're roughly hip width apart with your feet, and you come up to your toes or the ball of your foot here at the bottom. Your knees do go over your toes, and then you just come here and into your Hindu squat. So make sure that you have a solid Hindu squat. You could do the 360 into a shoulder squat as well, regular squat, but this tutorial is basically about the Hindu squat. So what I like to do is um, first, again, find your nice position where you have balance up and down. Once you find your squat stance, go ahead and grab your gata. Now this tutorial is with the gata. You can do it with the steel mace as well, but with the gata, you're going to need to really have um, a nice balance on that side that you catch it on, a nice low hand position there. So start an equilateral triangle with the gata. Um, I am right hand dominant, so my left hand is on the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and pick up into the rack. Nice slow hand position here. My right hand's on top. I'm going to 360 over my left shoulder and catch with the left shoulder. So I bring it around. And as you catch here, you fall into a relaxed grip. The gata is vertical so that the weight is supported by the handle there. And then from here, I fall into my pull into my Hindu squat. So then from here, I push off and go over into the right shoulder 360. Catching here on the right shoulder. Now notice it's a nice vertical uh, position with the pole as vertical as you can get it. Arms are extended fully. Relax that grip and the gata is resting on my chest and my front delt there. Make sure that you're vertical. So find that nice balance, pull into your squat, and rise. So true speed looks like this. I'm going to use my right shoulder to gently push into a 360, catch, relax that grip, pull into the squat. And just repeat just like that really make every rep count extend those arms pull into the squat so now we're going to just do three on each side one pull into the squat find your focus two pull into the squat Three. Pull into the squat. Four. Find your balance. Good. Two more. Good. Last one. And release down. I'm going to show you a couple examples of same movement with a regular squat. Now when I move to my regular squat shoulder, I'll need to go with a little wider stance here. Okay, so same movement, only heels down into that regular squat. Find that squat stance before you pick up your gata and go ahead and swing. Swing and squat. So the squat changes from upright to a little more lean. So the handle is going to come out a little bit more. Swing, shoulder, into squat. So similar movement, just a little different body posture. And for me, the depth changes. I don't go as deep 
when my heels are down. So I go roughly to there. So hopefully that helps. Enjoy.